to the south. C-54, the spirit of freedom. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. This is amazing. The last C-54 flying coming in to land at Spanish Fork Field. Candy Bomber's daughter here, family here. This is awesome. Over 70 years ago, children who had lived through World War II were receiving these parachutes of candy and feeling hope and love, feeling cared about by former enemies was quite a remarkable experience. On June 24th, 1948, the blockade of Berlin was total. How does a city blockaded from the rest of the world survive? This is a story of the Berlin Airlift, the operation carried out by the Royal Air Force and the United States Air Force to supply two and a quarter million people of Berlin with food, coal, and other necessities of life. In June 1948, all road and rail communications between the Allied zones and the western sectors of Berlin were closed by the Russians. The night that Gail passed away, the family allowed me to, to use the telephone and tell him how I felt about him. So this was sort of an extension to say goodbye. Every time that I would go visit him, it would be, hello, Jim, how are you? What are you doing good today? And then when I would leave, he would say, I always have an attitude of gratitude. It was great working with him, tremendous role model, and I think I'm a better father, better grandfather, uh, better citizen, better physician because of knowing Gail and learning about some of the things that animated his life. We know our father's here with us too. It's just a beautiful, beautiful expression of the efforts of so many people. I want to speak to the children who are here because Gail Halverson's story, in terms of his impact, in terms of what he did for the world, starts with children. And it starts in an airport not too different from this, a runway not too different from the one we're standing next to. And yet, as opposed to the beautiful mountains we were surrounded by, they were surrounded by bombed out buildings. And these kids, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, were living in this rubble. And they were kids whose only memories of America, whose only memories of their own life, had been amid war and of bombs falling on their homes. As the Berlin airlift happened, as their own city was surrounded and, and food, which was already difficult to gather, was no longer coming into their homes, they gathered by this air airport in Temple Hop Air Base. And one day, a man came up to them and he started talking to them. These were kids who were dressed in rags. They didn't speak the same language as him. They looked a little bit different than the kids that maybe he knew growing up. And he started to walk away, but then he stopped. And he headed back towards them. And he took two pieces of gum and ripped them in half and gave them to these kids. And he saw their eyes open wide because these were kids, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, who had never had a piece of gum, never had something sweet, never had a piece of chocolate in their entire lives. And he saw how amazed they were. And so he promised that he was going to come back the next day and 
as he was flying in in a plane just like the one we saw, that he was going to wiggle his wings and drop some candy down to them in little parachutes made of handkerchiefs. And he kept his promise. And the kids kept on coming back. And by the end of that summer, you had thousands of kids gathered every single day by the Temple Hoff fence. And they fell in love with America. What he did changed their lives and it changed the world. One of the coolest things about this flight right here over Spanish Fork, Utah, is the C-54 that Gail Halverson flew, dropping parachutes to the kids. But it's also followed with a brand new, just minted C-17 that they're naming the spirit of the candy bomber in the memory and passing of Gail. C-17 and Douglas C-54 flying in a heritage formation. This is super cool, the C-54 flying today, labeled on the tail, the Berlin Airlift, is here at Spanish Fork in honor of a great man, a legend who changed the world, flying candy and dropping it to kids and giving hope to everybody and help uniting uh, the United States and Germany and letting people know that we can work together and change the world all from one man, and it's, uh, it's absolutely unbelievable to see it here at Spanish Fork. This is awesome. They're just right. announcing the aircraft so, information coming back around. Passing, They're going to do uh, the official the, candy drop. And unbelievable. Upland, uh, it's a commemorative leg, bar downward. honoring Gail Halverson. And it's coming around right now. So this is one of the coolest things ever to happen. Probably the coolest thing that has to happen or so will ever happen. The, the Spanish Fork City here at our airport the honoring field, one of the greatest men, legends of aviation. Over, living uh, to be 101 Fork. years old and two and days then, uh, before he passed away right he was still way. on the computer C online the doing speeches and for schools and, time, and inspiring children even today at 101 to years old what an amazing man so time to honor him with a candy drop c54 this is amazing. the spirit of freedom piled by tim cho operated by the berlin airlift historical foundation we're grateful to have had them here as our guest for a couple of days. And behind them is the C-17 made by Boeing. Wow. The spirit of the candy bomb. This is so good! 
coming right to us. That is great. Look at this way. Check this out. Kids going everywhere. Woo-hoo! We'll have volunteers that'll be bringing candy. That is amazing. This couldn't be any cooler. Okay, there's a pretty good win going on. I wondered how well they do. They nailed it. They had candy dropping on that side of the crowd, through the crowd, and into that side of the crowd. So that's as good as it gets. I've done a lot of bomb drops, airplane drops. That's hard to do. It's even harder to do when it's in a parachute. Dropping something and have it hit it's hard to, is, is hard. When you got a parachute and it's got a drift, that guy can fly. <laughs> Awesome. So great. <laughs> All right, so a bunch of people got candy. It looks like these guys did well. Candy bars, parachutes. Is this cool or what? I thought that was incredible. I couldn't <laughs> believe how big the airplanes were. I know, and then the fact that they nailed it so good and got these parachutes right to all of you guys. So way to go. Thanks for coming Thanks. down here. All right, see ya. Hey guys, we're wrapping up this video. We just finished watching some of the edits and I gotta tell you, just watching through the edits, I had to do a little outro on it. It's been two months since Gail passed away and we're just getting ready to put this video out. And I gotta tell you in the last couple months, during the event, meeting his family, his grandkids, and just seeing what an inspiration he was to his family, to the world, to everyone he came in contact with, uh, I met him several times here at Spanish Fork. We were lucky enough to have him around here quite often. And uh, it just makes you want to be a better person. I want to be a better person. I want to give back more, do more. And uh, so it's a new goal. It's, uh, it's a goal I've always had. My dad gave it to me, but it just reinvigorated it. So I'm going to find a way to do it. I'm going to find a way to give more to you, to strangers, to everyone, another smile of Whatever I can do, I want to be better and I want to challenge you to be better to everyone around you and find ways to give back. My dad always told me, if you are blessed with something and you don't find a way to give it to others, you don't deserve to have it in the first place. So let's give back. Let's be better. Gail, you're a great example to all of us here at Spanish Fork around the world. And uh, we're all going to strive to be as good of a man as you are. We love you all. You guys know the drill. Let's get back to work. <laughs>